you still think God loves everybody. Alright, you stuck on the world world, is that what it is? Yeah, because I, I feel like love, love is equal. That's not what I asked you. I said, are you stuck on the word world? I wouldn't say stuck on the word world, but I would say I still think that God loves you. Based off of what? Just the fact that he saved the entire family. I mean, yeah, yeah, we're cursed. So, where are you basing that off? Because that's just a opinion, right? Do you have a book that you write that in? Okay, let's, 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 let's take it back to the very beginning. You have a book? What do you have? What do you have? I'm going back, I'm going back to Genesis, the, the very beginning. When God first created the world. Okay, when God first created the world, he told Adam and Eve, you can eat from any of these places, you can eat from any of the cells, you can eat from any of the trees, out here, just don't eat from the tree of life. Okay? When, they, when Adam and Eve disobeyed, that's when a curse, a curse on the sin was placed upon That's the curse that we're living with. That's the only curse that I believe. That's the, the curse of sin. We as human beings, we as human beings, sin baby. That's the curse. That's why. You're venturing off. You're venturing off. What's your point? My point is, okay, the curse that he was speaking of, okay, slavery, bad jobs, all of that. That's like, bad jobs, I don't want to say that would be a sin. So I just want to know. I think the curse is basically the fact that I'm a sin. Okay, so you said we sin as people, you're talking about the whole human race? Yeah. Alright, so that's funny you say that. When did the white man have to go through the transatlantic slave trade? For their sins? Everybody, like, no, 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 no. That's a question. So you answered. You don't just say everybody because that's a vague statement. Prove to me when the white man went into slavery because of their sins. Well, that's a thing, it's slavery. The white man can was, you, the, can white, you do white, the white man was the head of slave. They, they was the one. They were the no, slave. that's not what I'm asking. Prove to me when the white man was a slave in history. That's what I'm saying. They weren't. They were. They were the. Okay. So you just said they were not. But who was? Black people. Black people. So if we're all equal, how come they didn't go to slavery with us? I don't think God really chose for slavery to happen. You don't think God chose for slavery? That, that, listen, that was just the sinful nature of man. It's the same so thing. now, the if same I thing. go into the Bible and prove that statement, will you believe it? It depends. It's, 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 yes or no? If it's legit, yeah. All right, let's go there. Give me the book of Deuteronomy 28, 43. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse Bring 43. The stranger that is within thee shall get up above thee very high. So it says the stranger that is within me should get up above thee very high. So we have to realize this is the book of Deuteronomy. Who's speaking right here? You said no, you said God? Who's he speaking through? What man? You said white man? Incorrect. Give me uh, the book of Deuter Deuteronomy 1 and 1 and then give me Exodus 4 and 6. Now, we're going to show you exactly who's speaking right here. God is speaking through a certain man. Read that. Deuteronomy chapter 1 and verse 1. Uh-huh. These be the words which Moses... Which who? Which Moses... You ever heard of Moses? Right. Read. Spake unto all Israel. That's who spoke those words. Moses spoke the words. Give me Exodus 4 and 6. Let's see what Moses looked like. All right? Because you said white man. Let's, let's prove that statement wrong. Exodus chapter 4 and verse 6. And the Lord said... For the Lord to him, put now thy hand into thy bosom. Read verse 1. Exodus chapter 4 verse 1. And Moses answered and said. And Moses did what? Answered and said. Read. But behold, they will not believe me. This is after the Most High God uh, sent the angel in the bush, in the burning bush. And he spoke to Moses and told him what? To go to Egypt and free the Israelites. And this is what Moses said. Read verse 1. And Moses answered and said, But behold, they will not believe me, nor hearken unto my voice. So he has some doubt, all right? Fast forward. Verse 6, he's going to be in front of the Egyptians, the, mag the magicians. And he's going to show the power of the Most High God. But the reason why we're going here is to show what he looked like. Read that. And the Lord said for the more unto him, Put now thy hand into thy bosom. So God tells Moses to put his hand into his bosom like this. His coat jacket. Read. And he put his hand into his bosom. Read. And when, it, when he took it out, behold, his hand was leprous as snow. So Moses took his hand into his coat jacket, took it out. Now his hand was leprous as snow. Read on. 
And he said, put thy hand into thy bosom again. So now, after your hands left with the snow, put your hand back into your bosom, read. And he put his hand into his bosom uh -huh. again and plugged it out of his bosom. And behold, it was turned again as his other flesh. As his other what? As his other flesh. So if he was a white man, would that be a miracle? That's right. No, it wouldn't be, bro. That's why we out here. That's right. Give me the book of uh, Isaiah 16 and 15 real quick, and we're going to go back to Deuteronomy 20 and 43. Bro, this is why we out here. The officer's bringing it out beautifully. But sometimes it takes a little bit more, and that's fine. We out here for that reason, all right? Read what you got. Isaiah chapter 60 and verse 15. Uh -huh. Whereas thou hast been forsaken and hated. So this is for you. The so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans have been hated. That's we have been despised. We have been forsaken, as the scripture just said. Read it again. Whereas thou hast been forsaken and hated. So that no man went through thee. I will make thee an eternal excellency. But we will still be on top in the end, brother. That's we right. will be that nation of kings and priests spoken of in the book of Peter. That's right. Is that it on that? Read. A joy of many generations. Uh -huh. Thou shalt also suck the milk of the Gentiles. Meaning, they're going to be our slaves. They're going to be our servants. Yes. That's why I asked you the question earlier. If we're all as mankind, right, or have sinned, how can we the only one get, get uh, chastised for it? Right. No, 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 that makes no sense. We're the Israelites. That's we're the only people on the face of the earth that can sin. That's and that's why we get judged. Give me that in Psalm 147. Bring it out. That's what it is, bro. That's the mystery. That's the great mystery of the Bible. When you read Paul's letters, people get confused. They think when he says that he's apostle of the Gentiles, they think he's talking about the other nations. No. He's talking about the Israelites who are living as the other nations. That's right. Read what you got. Psalm chapter 147, verse 19. Uh -huh. He showeth his word unto Jacob, read. his statutes and his judgments unto Israel. Uh -huh. He hath not dealt so with any nation. You see that? For example, bro. Do you remember when Moses gave the Ten Commandments? You heard of that before, right? What nation of people did he give that to? The Israelites. The Israelites. Read the verse again. I want you to pay attention. Watch this. He showed his word unto Jacob, his statutes and his judgments unto Israel. Law, statutes and commandments unto who? Israel, right? Read. He hath not dealt so with any nation. He hath what? He hath not dealt so with any nation. Meaning he didn't give anybody else his law, statutes, and commandments. Read. And for his judgments. And for his judgments, meaning slavery, bad jobs, being hated amongst all nations. Those are judgments. Read. They have not known them. The white man has not known them. The African has not known them. Right. The Chinese have not known them. Only the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans have been through those curses. Bring it out! You understand that? For real, you understand that, right? Give me the book of uh, Isaiah 50 and 5. All right, now since you understand that, it's time to what? Humble yourself. It's time to humble yourself and pay attention to what God's trying to tell you today, all right? Watch this. Isaiah chapter 50, verse 5. The Lord God hath opened mine ears. So, the most I got opened. His ear, his ear, all of our ears, right? Read. And I was not rebellious. We were not rebellious. So when we heard the call, you know what? That's right. I'm wicked. I need to repent. I need to come back to my law, statutes, commandments. And I need to rise up and teach my people. Yes. Read. Neither turn away back. I gave my back to the smiters. And my... Was that it on that verse? Read the verse again. The Lord God hath opened my ear. Uh -huh. And I was not rebellious. Neither turned away back. Neither turned away back. Meaning, after I heard the truth, I didn't turn my back on the truth. I didn't try to argue or resist the truth. All right, so here's my motivation to you. My advice to you, Psalms 119 and 60. Bring it out. All right. Because it's, it's, bro, it's, we're living in the last days, bro. After a while, there ain't going to be no second chance. That's and you're young, just like the officer was saying, you're young. This is good, brother. All right, because your life, it ain't, it's not good right now, brother. Without God's commandments, without knowing that you're Israelite, knowing that you're the greatest people on the face of the earth, your life sucks. That's right. That's what you got to understand. Read that. So, chapter 119, verse 60. I made haste and delayed not to keep thy commandments. The scripture said, I made haste and delayed not to keep thy commandments. That's talking about our forefather, King David. You know who our forefather, King David, is? You ever heard of him? Heard of David? 
Uh, it's either 1 Chronicles 28, 15, or 15 and 28. Read that. 1 Chronicles chapter 28, verse 5. And all, and of all my sons, for the Lord hath given me many sons, hath he chosen Solomon, my son, to sit upon the throne of the kingdom of the Lord over Israel. Over Israel. Read verse 1. First Chronicles 28 verse 1 And David assembled all the princes of Israel So this is King David speaking right here Through his lineage um, was, I'm sorry, through King David's lineage They ruled the world at that time Meaning, all, you know how America's a superpower, right? America's a superpower Meaning everybody goes to America in regards to laws, trade, taxes, all of that At this time, everybody paid tribute to Israel so, go back to Psalms 119 and 60. This is why I bring that point out. King David is not someone to be taken lightly. He was one of the wisest men. The most high God loved King David and chose King Solomon to be the wisest man and king over Israel. All right, read that. Psalms chapter 119, verse 60. Uh -huh. I made haste and delayed not. So, King Solomon just said, when he heard this truth, when he heard about the opportunity to, uh, to repent, he delayed not. Read. To keep thy commandments. So he didn't play around with it. He, he hearkened to God's word and repented. Now, what is sin? You said, as mankind, we all sin, right? Give me uh, 1 John 3 and 4. Break it up. Go ahead, bro. All right, you made a statement earlier about sin, right? You said, as mankind, we sin. So we have to go to the scriptures and find out what is sin. All right? We have to go to the scriptures for everything. What's your name again? Troy. All right, I'm out of thugs. So, Troy, we always have to prove what we say out of the Bible. That's what I was trying to get you to do. You know what I'm saying? What is that based off of? It gotta be based off of scriptures. Alright, read that. First John chapter 3, verse 4. Whosoever committed sin transgresseth also the law. For sin is the transgression of the law. For sin is the transgression of the law, right? Who was given the law, statutes, and commandments? Israelites. So, can other nations sin? Read it again. First John chapter 3 and verse 4. Whosoever committed sin transgresses also the law. For sin is the transgression of the law. For sin is the transgression of the law. Could you give me the book of Deuteronomy chapter 14, I believe it's 20? I want you to see this real quick. Perfect example. Let me look at it. 14 and... Alright. Read verse 20, read down, watch this. Now this is a law that was given to who? The Israelites, because the law was given to us, right? Watch this. Deuteronomy chapter 14, verse 20. Uh -huh. But all, but of all clean fowls ye may eat. So the, God says, through Moses, he said, through all the clean fowls, like chicken, right? You can eat that. He, he deems that clean. But a bald eagle, no, nah, you can't eat that. That's an unclean animal because he's what? He's a, um, he, uh, what's it called? He preys on other animals. So that's not clean to us. Read the verse again. But of all clean fowls ye may eat, uh -huh. ye should not eat of anything that dieth of itself. Then he goes on to say, we should eat of anything that dies on its own. Because the Most High God loves us. He only wants the good things for us. You understand that? Read. Thou shalt not give it unto the stranger that read it. Read it again. Read it again correctly. Read it again from the top. Ye shall not eat of anything that dieth of itself. So God says the Israelites should not eat of anything that dies of itself. Read. Thou shalt give it unto the stranger that is in thy gates. Thou shalt give it to who? Give it unto the stranger that is in thy gates. So showing you what? The stranger that is within thy gates is talking about the other nations. Meaning, he told us not to eat it, but you can give it to the stranger because the law wasn't given to them. That's right. That's what it's talking about. Go back to Psalms 147 and 19 to remind you what the Bible says. That's what we are here trying to get you to understand. You understood that, right? Read. Psalm chapter 147 verse 19. Uh -huh. He showed his word unto Jacob, his statutes and his judgments unto Israel. He just read the example. He just gave us the law on clean fowls, not to eat of anything that dies of itself. Read. He has not dealt so with any nation. But the other nations, the strangers of the heathens, he didn't deal with them. Read. As for his judgments, they have not known them. And there's no consequence for them because the law wasn't given to them. Go back to 1 John 3 and 4. Bring it out. These are the basics, bro. And I will go over it again and again and again until you get it. Because that's love, bro. That's right. Read that. 1 John 
Deuteronomy chapter 3, verse 4. Uh -huh. Whosoever committed sin transgresseth also the law. Read. For sin is the transgression of the law. For sin is the transgression of the law. So, who's the law given to? Huh? The Israelites? Can the other nations sin? It's A. It's easier when our, our thoughts are filtered through the scriptures, right? It makes things that much easier. So let's go back to the world. Give me that and uh, watch this. Give me Psalms 24 and 1. Watch this real quick. It's going to be, it's very simple. Very, very simple. Watch this. Psalms chapter 24 and verse 1. The earth is the Lord and the fullness thereof. The world and they that dwell it therein. So in this verse, it says the world that people dwell in. That's like planet Earth, right? The world. All right. Now go to us, James 4 and 4. Go to James chapter 4, verse 4. Watch this. So that's more in definition of world. See that? All right. That's what you're thinking about. I know that's the world that you always think about. But then he says this right here. Watch this. James chapter 4 and verse 4. Ye adulterous and adulterous, know ye not that the friendship of the world is enmity with God. But then he says, don't you know that being a friend of the world is enmity with God? Now there's a, now there's a, there's a split, right? There's a difference. Give me uh, John 18, 20. Yeah. We have to study precept upon precept. Yeah. We can't isolate the scripture. This is a big book, right? It's a big book. We can't just go to John 3, 16 and throw everything away. You cannot do that. So let me ask you this one question. Yes, sir. As an Israelite. Yes, sir. So it's wrong for me to have white Okay, let's see what God says. Let me read this verse and then I'm going to answer that. Okay, watch this. John chapter 18, verse 20. Uh-huh. Jesus answered him, I spake openly to the world. So this is Christ. He said he spoke openly to the world. Read. I ever taught in the synagogue. And in the temple, whether the Jews always resort. See that? What did he just call the world in this passage? Read it again for him. Pay, pay attention. Jesus answered him, I spake openly to the world. Read. I ever taught in the synagogue and in the temple, whether the Jews always resort. Who did he call the world? The Jews. Um, John 12 and 11. Watch this. Watch this. So, and I understand, you've never heard it before. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's kind of, it's a lot to soak in. But I, we're doing this to show you, beyond a shadow of a doubt, the truth is the truth. You cannot refute this Bible. Read what you got. John chapter 12, verse 11. Uh-huh. Because that by reason of him, many of the Jews went away and believed on Jesus. So it's showing that many of who? Many of the Jews went away and believed on Jesus. Verse 19. What does he call these Jews? Come on up, sis. We out here for y'all. Come on up, sis. So, so, sis, we're going over the scriptures to show that God sent his only begotten son to die for the nation of Israel and the nation of Israel only. That's right. Alright. Read verse 11 again. Watch this, Troy. John chapter 12, verse 11. Uh-huh. Because that by reason of him, many of the Jews went away and believed on Jesus. And believed on Jesus. Showing that in the last passage, what did Christ call them? He called the Jews what? The, the world, exactly. You learn. Read verse 19. Verse 19. The Pharisees therefore said among them, among themselves, Perceive ye how ye prevail nothing. Behold. The world is gone after him. It says the world is gone after him, meaning the Jews that believed on him, they're now following him. You see that? Sis, come on up, come on up, come on. Take a look, take a look right here. I want you to take a look right here, sis. Where do you see stuff on this side? You see Judah. All right, all right. So let me ask you something, sis. What do you know about the Israelites? Huh? You, I'm sorry? Nothing. You know nothing about that? Alright, so these people are God's chosen people. You ever heard of that? The Israelites? Yeah. The Jews? Yeah. Okay, okay. 
All right, so that's what we are here teaching. When you see us, when you see these fringes, this purple and gold, we represent that. We are the Israelites according to the scripture. That's right. All right? Now, I want you to sit here and listen for a little bit so you can learn your true nationality. We, we ain't going to let you miss your bus. All right? Give me uh, Deuteronomy 7. The brother had asked a question about the, uh, what'd you say, white friends? Yeah, also, I was trying to get that as an Israelite. Gotcha. Let's uh, get that. Give me that. Yeah. Deuteronomy chapter 7 verse 3. Start at 1 actually. Deuteronomy chapter 7 verse 1. When the Lord thy God shall bring thee into the land whether thy goest to possess it uh -huh. and has cast out many nations before thee. Many nations before thee. This is when we were going to the land. So God killed many nations just for our sakes. Read. The Hittites the Hittites and the Gergesites uh -huh. and the Amorites uh -huh. and the Canaanites Read. and the Perizzites uh -huh. and the Hivites uh -huh. and the Jebusites. Read on. Seven nations greater and mightier than thou. So these are seven nations outside of the nation of Israel. All right. Read. And when the Lord thy God shall deliver them before thee, thou shalt smite them and utterly destroy them. So God says we should smite them and destroy them. Read. Thou shalt make no covenant with them. Thou shalt do what? Thou shalt make no covenant with them. A covenant is agreement, right? Talking about an alliance or a friendship. Read that verse again. Thou shalt make no covenant with them. But why is that? Give me Ezekiel 35 and 5. Watch this. So you said the white man, according to the scriptures, his name is Edom or Esau. Right. Now I'm going to show you why you shouldn't do it. Watch this. Ezekiel chapter 35 and verse 5, because thou hast had a perpetual hatred and hast shed the blood of the children of Israel by the force of the sword in the time of their calamity. Give me verse 2. I want you to read that. Read that. Ezekiel chapter 35 verse 2. Uh-huh. Son of man, set thy face against Mount Seir. Mount Seir. Mount Seir. That's where the so-called white man comes from. Mount Seir. That's where they dwell in the Bible. Edomites, Esau, or Edom, or Idumia. All the same. Read. And prophesy against it. Uh-huh. And say unto it, Thus said the Lord God, Behold, O Mount Seir, I am against thee, and I will stretch out my hand against thee. Uh-huh. And I will make thee most Desolate. God says he is against those people. You said, can I have friends with white people? No. God says he's against that particular race of people. Read. I will lay the city's waste, and thou shalt be desolate. Uh-huh. And thou shalt know that I am the Lord. Read. Because thou hast had a perpetual hatred. Perpetual. Perpetual. What does that word mean? Continuous, meaning never ending. That means forever, right? So, read verse 5 again about these people. Because thou hast had a perpetual hatred and hast shed the blood of the children of Israel. And hast shed the blood of the children of Israel. When did the white man shed the blood of the children of Israel? Okay. During slavery. Right. Ding, ding, ding. Give me Deuteronomy 28, 68. Bring it out. And then uh, Amos 3. Get two off together. Watch this. That's 100% that's correct. All right, but God calls him something else, Troy. I want you to listen to that. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 68. Read. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. When the scripture says Egypt, give me that Exodus 22, it's talking about slavery. It's talking about bondage. The reason why he walked away just now, because he know the truth coming out. You know what? Stop that. Give me uh, 2 Corinthians 2 16. Watch this. The reason why he just walked away is because when we realize that we're the people of his book, that's the end of him. That's the end of him and his nation. Bring it out! You see how America's on top? Yeah. Once we realize who we are and wake up as a nation, this nation will fall. That's and right. we will rise up. That's right. Read what you got. Second Corinthians chapter 2, verse 16. To the one, we are the savior of death. Unto death. So the scripture says, to one person, we are the savor, meaning the smell of death unto death. Meaning, even while he lives, he's thinking about death. He's thinking about the end of his nation. Read. And to the other, the savor of life unto life. That's talking about you, Troy. Today, you just learned that you're an Israelite. 
today you learn that you have a chance to live forever. Right. That's life unto life. All right? Give me first Corinthians real quick for him. Bring it out! Because uh, we go through these scriptures, Troy. You cannot have your name covered as the scriptures come out. I'm going to show you why. Read that. First Corinthians chapter 11, verse 3. Uh-huh. But I, have, I would have you know that the head of every man is Christ, and the head of the woman is the man, and the head of Christ is God. Every man praying or prophesying, having his head covered, this other his head. All praise you. That's obedience, bro. So that means you was just honoring Christ when he had the head covered. Now, go back to the book of Exodus 22. We're showing you what God calls those people. You said white people, right? Can you be friends with them? We're going to show what God calls them. Read. Exodus chapter 20 and verse 2. Uh-huh. I am the Lord thy God, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. Egypt is called the house of bondage, meaning house of bondage, when you're bonded, it means you can't get away. It means you're a slave. Go back to Deuteronomy 28, 68. Watch this. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 68. Uh-huh. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. God shall bring the Israelites, you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans into Egypt. House of bondage, or known as slavery. Read. Again, with ship. With what? With ship. With what? One more time. With ship. You see this? When did this happen to us? Brother, when did this happen to us right here? Does that look familiar? When did this happen to us, Troy? I'm look close. Sure. Come on, come on. I'm not sure. You tell me. Troy, when did this happen to us? When? During slavery. During slavery. 1619. The transatlantic slave trade. That's right. Read it again. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. God shall bring us into slavery again. So, what was the first slavery? When were the Israelites in slavery the first time? No, in Egypt. Do you remember Pharaoh let my people go? That was our forefathers. That's why he says this, read it again. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. If you have any questions, come on up. Read. With ship. With what? With ship. So the second time the Israelites, you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans went into slavery was 1619, the transatlantic slave trade. That's right. Read. By the way, well, I spake unto thee. Just like Moses said it would happen to our forefathers, that's exactly how it went down. Read. Thou shalt see it no more again. In regards to our homeland, Jerusalem, we won't see it anymore. Read. And there. Ye shall be sold unto your enemies. We shall be what? Ye shall be sold unto your enemies. We were sold unto the white man. That's the gospel. That's the gospel because you know what? Just like we were sold to our enemies, Luke 1 68. Bring it up. Watch this. We gotta go to work. Hey, you got a flyer? There you go. Hey, there you go. There you go. Hey, Troy, research that, bro. What's your nationality, Troy? From the tribe of what? All praises, brother. All praises, all praises. Shalom, Israel. I'm Elder Nathaniel, Israel United in Christ. YouTube likes to shut our channels down, as some of you have noticed, <laughs> ever so often. Subscribing to join IUIC will assure you will always stay connected to our YouTube accounts. We want to do our best to make sure this truth gets up. Please click and join our subscriber YouTube channel called Join IUIC to stay linked to all of our videos. So again, Please make sure you subscribe to this Join IUIC channel to get your latest updates on all our YouTube channels. Shalom.